up, everybody? Hey, Bree. Hi, Cam. Welcome back to Tuesday's Terp Talent Showcase. This is the Stamps Weekly Series where we've been showing you all lots of amazing talent, um, all of these amazing things that the UMD community is are doing in their spare time, have done. Um, today is the final episode of the semester, and we really... Yeah. Yes, did you not know? Oh, that's that's devastating. Okay, sorry. Keep going. Um, yikes. Someone didn't give Brie the memo, but <laughs> yes, thank you so much, all of you, for tuning in, um, for staying with us until the final episode of this semester. Um, you know, if you'd like to see more this summer in this fall, you let us know in the comments. You might not see Brie and I, but you'll you'll see someone, some some cool people. We we guarantee. It. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have to be because we have some great talent to show you all today. Just disappointed that this is the end, but you know what? It's been a it's been a good number of however many weeks it's been. This will be five. Five, five whole weeks showcasing really amazing UMB talent. It's been great. Yes. And today we're really lucky and excited to share with you all um, some great talent coming straight from our stamp friends down in Studio A. Mm -hmm. I say down because they're literally like below us on two floors in event guest services. But you can follow Studio A at UMD. Uh, Studio A on Instagram. You can follow them at Studio A at UMD on Facebook. And we're really excited to show you some of our dear friends, um, some of the amazing students that work down there. So Brie, why don't you take us away? I sure will. Our first Terp talent today is Chinema Opaibog. She is an English major with a focus in creative writing. She's a rising senior and just graduated from UMD's Writer House. Oh, very cool. She loves writing poetry as much as reading it. And today she'll be showing us how to make shrinky dink pins. Fun fact, I did this. It's super cool. Let's check out the video. Wait, remember when we helped Gianna find shrinky dink plastic for like six months? We did. I want to <laughs> give a personal thank you to um, Goody to Go for yeah. having the proper type of plastic to use for these pins. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's get into it. Hello, my name is Chetima. I will be showing you how to make these cute little pins today. You can wear them on your jacket, like so. And a little shoulder shimmy. Making these pins is pretty easy and it doesn't cost a lot. Um, you can use shrinky dink plastic, uh, which you can find online. Or if you don't have that, you can also use a plastic container. It just has to have a triangle with the number six in it. That's the type that won't burn when you put it in the oven later. Um, I think you can get these plastics from different like foods, like salads from the grocery store. So next I'm going to show you the materials you'll need. You'll need some paint, some bar pins, or just any type of pin backs you have. You're going to need a water cup and some paint brushes. And scissors. And this is optional, but you might want something round or a ruler so that you can make a border. Gonna need some hot glue, um, some glue sticks, and an oven or a toaster oven, um, and some permanent markers. Next, you're gonna start tracing an outline, or you can freehand this, but um, I find it better to have like a reference picture. Um, I'm just tracing it on top of an iPad that I set to guided access so that it won't move around as I trace on it. Next, I'm gonna use a border um, to make a pin. So I'm just gonna trace like the outline of something round. I'm just using a top from like a cookie jar. Um, and then you're just gonna draw your pin inside as you do. And I find that when you do this, it has like a neater edge.
Now that you have your designs, you're gonna cut them out. Clip, clip. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just cut out your designs either along the edges or around the border that you made. To the most exciting part, you put your plastic in the oven. I know your parents always told you not to, but this is safe, it worked, it's supposed to go in the oven. And it starts to shrink up and it's really cool to watch. Highly recommend doing this project just to watch that happen. Make sure your oven is preset to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever temperature your package of shrinky ding tells you to use. So after your pins come out the oven, they should look like that. Flat um, and kind of thicker than how they were when you put them in. And now it is time for you to paint it. You can get really creative during this step. Um, let your imagination take you where it will and just have fun with it. I think this is the most, this is the most fun part and the most relaxing part actually. I recommend painting on the back of the actual pin. So the side where you didn't use your Sharpie. It creates a better texture in the finished product and I think it just turns out smoother. Okay, once your pins are painted, you can start attaching the backs. So just use your hot glue gun and the pin type that you have, whether it's a bar pin or something else, and apply the hot glue right onto the bar pin. And then lay that flat against the pin and hold it down until it's dry. If you want a longer hold for your pin and you don't want to use hot glue, I would suggest JB Welding Glue or E6000. Those glues hold longer and I think would be more durable for a pin. But if you're just looking to make something like cool for a friend or um, just to jazz up your jacket, um, I think hot glue is a great alternative. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, I think they're a really good way to stress relieve and to just have a fun little project that you can make for your friends, for like a birthday gift or just for yourself. Um, let us know if you made this, if you tried it out uh, and share your creations with us on Instagram. All right, thank you guys. Chinema, that was so, so cool. I'm probably biased, like, like I told you all before. I've actually made those pins, but do y'all see how easy it is, right, Cam? Yeah, I was scared about the plastic in the oven, but obviously it's fine. <laughs> so fun fact, if we were in Stamp and I were in my office, you would see two little pins that I made that are the uh, state of Florida, like the shape. Oh. They're so tiny, they could be like an earring, and that was not on purpose. Um, but the plastic piece I used was already small. So when it went in the oven, it obviously got smaller. Um, but I still painted it and it's really dope. It's such a cool craft. Um, and now you all have the tools. Well, that's awesome. I, I don't feel like I've never seen those, but maybe I have and I have just forgotten over the past month and a half. But 
that was amazing. Thank you so much, Nima. Um, personally, I'm going to try that. I just need to get a glue gun real quick from Amazon, but that was really dope. Um, are you ready for our next awesome Studio Air? Is that what we're going to uh, call them? Studio Airs? Studio Airs. I'm ready for the next Studio Air. Okay. So the next Studio Air... <laughs> is Emil Melia. And so Emil is a senior working at Studio A who illustrates in a variety of media. They love comics and screen printing and fabric arts like embroidery and freehand sewing. Don't know what that is, but um, <laughs> quarantine has halted some of their productivity, but they will always cherish their memories of when they were able to get things done. Mm, I feel that. Are you ready? Let's go. it was I just stuff I can't even imagine doing Bree's automatic response was I wonder how long this takes them and I'm like <laughs> who knows <laughs> personally I loved the felt felt is like one of my favorite like textures as well I don't know why um so everything just always looks so cool and I really loved like the color combo and the messaging what was your favorite I think all of the sketch work, I think that's what I was even referring to as far as like, how long does this take? Because I'm seeing so much detail. It's like very intricate um, what Emil's able to do on paper. And I just, I'll always be blown away. Emil, you know, you have a special place in my heart because you did some other art for me. You're such a talented person. And we're really glad we could showcase your work here. Thank you, Emil. We really appreciate it. All right, Brie, who's next? Oh. Oh, let's uh, let the people know where we can follow Emil first. Oh, you're right. My bad, Emil. Okay, so you can follow Emil on um, social media, specifically Instagram at M-O-C-Y-V-O-N-A. And Chris will put it down below us. All right, now that we got that squared away, who's next? Cool. Let's move on to our next studio air, the <laughs> third term. <laughs> talent of the evening is Noor Nabolsi. She's a sophomore media studies major at UMD and serves as both a front desk attendant and an art room tech in Studio A. Come on, Layers. Mm -hmm. She's interested in multiple art forms, including photography and embroidery. Noor has been trying to watch a movie a day since quarantine because she finally has the time. Respect. She also goes on walks and takes pictures with her new camera. Cool. Ooh. With her sister in parking lots. Lastly, she gardens a lot. She finds it calming to stay in touch with nature when the outside world is chaotic. Very, very cool. Today, we are going to see some super dope art from Noor. Let's check it out.
right. Yes, Nora, that was so cool. What lovely jewelry. I know. That was so great. I'm literally about to buy a bunch of things. Everything was so pretty. It really was. I like the um, the stars, like the multicolored marbly. Those are mine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't buy them, um, but some viewers may go on and buy because we have the Etsy page. It's Cloudy Jewelry US. Y'all can check it out and see if you're interested in getting something. Yes, that was so, that was, everything is so cute. It was like in my favorite color combos. I, and I love being able to support people in their artistic endeavors because Lord knows I could never do half of those things. <laughs> Definitely not. But we appreciate, Noor, your work, your art, and for sharing it with us. Thank you so much. Well, Brie, the next person that we have is someone we've been begging to send us stuff since we found out that we were going to do this. Mm -hmm. And truly the only reason she sent us anything is because I'm pretty sure she was tired of us asking her. <laughs> I would have gotten sick of us too. So I would have gotten sick of us, but we're really excited to show y'all um, our friend Gianna Howard. I think we've shouted her out before on the show already, mm -hmm. um, but if we haven't, let us tell you a little bit about her. So Gianna is a graduate student. She's completing her master's of public health this semester with Brie, and she'll be beginning a master's of public administration in the fall. She's going to have three degrees, y'all. Um, Gianna has always had an interest in art, and while she enjoys drawing, her current medium of choice is acrylic painting. And so I'm really excited to show y'all some of Gianna's really great things that, again, I keep begging her to give me what she wants. <laughs> so these pictures will have to do. Are you ready, Brie? I am so ready. Gianna <laughs> especially and I, I'm gonna beg Gianna for this peacock painting forever <laughs> I mean it is intricate the the every little thing that a peacock has you know it's it's on that canvas right. this, but we knew that already um mm -hmm. I think personally I'll try to go for one of the hibiscuses is that plural hibiscus it is today um, cause you have so many, it's a series, you know, I'll just, I'll just take one off your hands. Why not? <laughs> well, if you're interested in checking out Gianna's artwork, you can follow her at Gianna Howard. It'll be below us. Um, we love you, Gianna. You know, that's our home girl. We're going to be graduating next week together. Sad Perfect. times, but also great times. Anyways, enough, enough reminiscing. Who's next? Thanks, Gianna. We appreciate you. Next up, and it's the last uh, talent for today, but absolutely not the least, we've got Adjua Ando. She's an English and psychology double major. Okay. And in her free time, she likes to paint, listen to music, and go on adventures with friends. Oh. 
favorite stamp memory is definitely when her fellow UMD Ghanaians and she gathered in Sork in preparation for their Ghana Independence Day flash mob. Okay. <laughs> so y'all, let's get into some art by Adwa. Yay! Okay, let me just say, I already knew, Ajwa, you were going to come with some heat because I've been to your classes, I've listened to the music that you play while you paint, everything is perfect and ready to go, and I mean, you did not disappoint. Not at all. I've also been to one of Ajwa's classes, and I mean, all we did was like palm trees, and they were super great, and seeing these, I'm like, wow, you're a real artiste. I, if you're willing to sell, I'm willing to buy <laughs> from all of you, literally from all of you. <laughs> yeah, this week is going to have my pockets empty. Um, <laughs> studio airs, though, we are thankful for you. Thank you so much for sharing your talent with us. It was really, really fun to see all the art, the jewelry, the painting, the sketches. Everything was so good. The pens, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. um, but y'all, that brings us to the end of... I guess not just another Tuesday Turb talent, but the final Tuesday Turb talent. But you know what? It's been a really, really fun time. We've been happy to be here with y'all. You know, as I'm reminiscing, it makes me think about the fact that I'm going to be graduating soon and moving on to kind of like what's next and stuff like that. And while that part is unclear, what I do know is I feel a lot of support from everyone in Stamp. And I think this show and us even hosting it has been an example of that, of people kind of coming together to build community, to do something fun in the midst of a lot of changes, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I don't know. Everyone keeps asking me to reminisce on the past XYZ fill in the blank amount of time. And I'm getting sad. I'm like, like our time is coming to a close, but uh, the past five weeks have been really great. Um, you know, it's been so much fun to see everything that you all are doing, have been doing. Um, it's inspired me to do a little painting, even though it's not always that great. Um, and trying out my cooking skills. And, you know, I think the only thing I haven't tried is like dancing and singing, but that's okay. But it's just been so inspiring and so much fun to watch all of you for the past five weeks. Um, and really big shout out to Jennifer for making all of this happen. Um, you know, she's the one that looped us into this because she thought we were so funny. And I still don't quite understand. I feel like we're ridiculous, but um, being thought of and, and being a part of this has been really amazing and just so much fun and really a great way to end our time as <sighs> graduate students and terps and all the things. <sighs> yes, and inhabitants of the stamp. Uh, it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. Again, I want to kind of echo that. Thank you, Jen. And I also want to thank Chris Hegwood. Huge shout out to you for making this happen. You're putting these videos together putting the text on the screen. It, literally, we wouldn't have a Tuesday Serve Talent without you. So thank you so much. Big snaps to you. I'll play a little trumpet fanfare someday because like Cam said, I've been inspired to get back to some kind of something. And you know, I'm, I'm not doing any art with paint or with <laughs> colors, but I can, I can play a little something something. So maybe I'll jump on that again. Okay. But yeah. Um, I think we've said it every single week. Of course, you know, I have to say it again to close this out, that even while we are apart. The stamp is here. Uh, woo! Yeah. Yes, we are. And we thank you for being here with us for five whole Tuesdays. It's a lot of Tuesdays. <laughs> and you spend your time with us and we're thankful for it. Yes, you could be anywhere, but you decided to be on your laptop in your house being a good Samaritan, watching 
Tuesday Terp Talent, and we appreciate you. <laughs> so thanks, everyone. Feel free to reach out to us, whether that's, you know, via YouTube or Facebook when you see our videos. If you have any feedback, you know, we'd love to take it. This might continue in some form in the future. So why not? And I think the sun is telling me to wrap it up. Y'all see the, the light rays on me? So I'm going to stop talking now. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya.